Hi, my name is Thiago from Alga Works, and I'm here in Istanbul in the event Vox Days, and I have the honor to, to talk with Reza, that is one of the speakers, uh, <laughs> and I will, I will let him introduce himself. And hello, Reza, thank you very much for, for sharing your time. Oh, sure. My pleasure. Uh, so my name is Reza Roman. I'm a, a Java evangelist at Oracle Corporation. I've uh, been with Oracle for about two years. I was an independent consultant uh, before that. I'm an author, I'm a blogger, uh, I contribute to the Java E, JSRs, uh, and so on. <laughs> and one of the your talks, for, what, was two talks, sure. Sure. Uh, uh, was about DDD. Uh, I, I, I know a lot of people that is watching don't know what is DDD. Could you give a brief introduction about it? Yes, absolutely can. So my talk was about uh, aligning uh, DDD with Java E. I have a, a project to do that. It's called Cargo Tracker. Uh, it's on Java.net. Uh, the URL for it is cargotracker.java.net. Uh, DDD is something I've used uh, for a long time. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a believer in DDD. Uh, I believe uh, DDD is a very important design technique, perhaps the most important design technique that uh, server-side Java developers have at hand today. Uh, it basically allows you to create uh, more object-oriented uh, systems uh, that are more maintainable and more agile. Uh, and it does that by adopting the core value principles uh, of object-oriented analysis and design. So it's very, very valuable for Java developers in particular. People that are wanting to, to start studying and learning DDD, uh, what's the best uh, way to start in your, in your opinion? So there are two different ways of starting. Uh, you can take a look at the slide deck that I that I presented today, uh, and there's a few resources uh, pointing to um, a, uh, a DZone uh, ref card as well as a small mini book from InfoQ. Uh, that's one way of getting started with domain-driven design. It's a sort of book learning first, learning the theory first, and then learning the application. Or, of course, you can also start with the application that I've designed. Uh, that's again available on on uh, on java.net cargo tracker java.net cargo tracker one word dot java.net and that will tell you a bit about DVD, ddd how it applies to uh, java e and server side java and show you some code examples on how to get started that that book famous book blue book uh, it's difficult to start uh, using that book uh, very much so i don't i generally don't recommend it um, it's a really bad thing especially for beginners and junior developers the problem is um, the book is written in a technology agnostic and very, very uh, abstract conceptual way. All, all, all architectural design patterns are written that way. So it's not necessarily the best resource to get started right away. Uh, I would uh, rather recommend uh, a, a simpler, uh, simpler, more higher level uh, introduction, uh, maybe a more hands-on introduction, and then maybe after getting a, a level of comfort with domain-driven design, you know, picking up Eric Evans' book. And I will put uh, the links of the mini book, ref card, and the cargo tracking uh, in this video, so you can uh, download this resource and start studying DDD. That's uh, a very important thing to to know as developers, right? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Thank you very much for the interview. Thank you. Have a nice day. And you, if you like this video, don't forget to to press the button, like, comment here. What do you think? Any question? And see you later. Bye-bye.